Hello and welcome back to another week of My Summer Practice Journal. I'm really happy with how this last week went and I'm excited for what's to come. So let's get right into my goals for the week. First off, I want to continue working on double tonguing, so I would like to do so on a single pitch at 80 BPM. This week I'm going to work through liqueur number 17, as well as study the first excerpt in Overture to Candy. In terms of solo rep, I would like to perform the second movement of Tableau, and since it's a little shorter and I'll probably get through it pretty quickly, I would like to also work on some of the third movement. I'm looking forward to working on some new material, so let's get right into it. So just to begin my Monday on the right foot, I decided to start things off with some long tones with some added dynamics. When doing these long tones, I try and oralize what I want to sound like, and I try and get as close to that as possible. I then went on to do some double tonguing at 60 BPM. I feel like I'm getting a little bit more consistent with the back syllable, but it still needs some work. This is one of the finger exercises out of the 28 day warm up that I mentioned last week. Um, along with the sonority like long tone exercises, they have these finger exercises that are the same sort of motifs in different keys. After finishing this up, I moved on to my liqueur etude for the week. This is liqueur number 17. Usually my first read through this is just to figure out the fingerings. The whole goal with these is to increase the ratio of correct reps, so writing down the right fingerings is key. For my military band excerpt for the week, I chose to do the first excerpt of Overture to Candide. It's a fun little excerpt, but there are a few tricky spots, like there's a few interval A to Ds at the beginning. Especially for the first time reading this, I'm just trying to get the style right. I then went on to work on Tableau Movement 2 for the first time. It's a pretty short movement, but there's a lot you can do with it. My goal is to just keep the air moving throughout all of the melodic lines. I also have to pick and choose where I want to use vibrato, which is kind of hard. So for some reason today, I decided to be an idiot and plug the input for my microphone into the headphone jack of my audio recorder, so today we have no audio. I started the day off with some mouthpiece exercises and then moved on to some overtones, followed by some scales. I then worked through some more of the Overture to Candide excerpt and then learned the second page of Liqueur 17. I then finished the day off by working on Tableau Movement 2, and then quickly moving on to Tableau Movement 3, which I learned all of the notes and rhythms to at a slower tempo, um, just because Movement 2 is a little bit shorter, and I'm sure I can get through all of Movement 3 this week as well. To begin Thursday, I started off with another sonority from the 28 Day Warm Up book. Since I've really been hitting it hard with the double tonguing, I sometimes forget to work on single tonguing, so today was the day. When working on single tonguing, I usually like to pick a two octave scale in the middle range of the instrument that isn't too hard on my fingers. I usually go with E major, and I use the metronome assistant in TE tuner to bump the tempo up five clicks after every time I play the scale where I am tonguing the entire time. 
This just helps build up endurance, and I really like this exercise for single tonguing. Coinciding overtone scale. See, these A to D intervals are pretty tricky, and then for some reason this scale always tripped me up. I'd use bis V flat, and I don't know. Maybe it's a hand position thing. I just need to keep working on it. This definitely isn't the best thing ever, but it's getting better. So today was not the greatest day ever because of my leger reed is starting to thin out and so I decided to break in some cane reeds as you see here. Unfortunately the leger signature that I've been using is starting to thin out so I ordered a French cut 4 and it was just way too thin. I then exchanged it for a signature 4 because that's supposed to be a little bit harder than the French cuts. And again, way too thin. I don't know what's going on. Maybe my muscles have gotten a little bit stronger, but with the concept, I just need a much harder read and the Legers just are not cutting it out. I honestly need a 4.25. I love the Legers, but I uh, decided to start breaking in some cane reads. I then went on to work on a few licks in the Lacour 17. This etude's growing on me and it's honestly not that hard. My formula for learning these etudes is pretty simple. On the first day I learn the first page, and then on the second day I learn the second page, and it's all about getting good reps in where I'm using the right fingerings and playing the right notes. On the following days I like to speed up the tempo and work on any licks that are troubling me when I speed up the tempo, and then I get it to about 3 quarters tempo for the week, and I end it there. Here's some of that third move in the tableau. Again, I really like this movement, and I honestly think it's my favorite out of the five. On the second page, there's a few tricky articulation stuff, which I was trying to work out, and it was kind of giving me a hard time. Those five looks could be a little bit more even, but we'll work on it. Here's day two of reed breaking. These are three pluses from the Dario. I really hate these ones. They're a little bit too thin for me. I also have a few Dario three and a halfs and then Van Doren three and a halfs. And I want something that sounds like the Van Doren because I think it sounds the best but it's just a little bit softer than the three and a half. Here I'm playing some scales that work me up to the altissimo register. It really helps me bridge that gap between the normal notes and the altissimo notes, especially using the front keys. I'm not as familiar with the front keys, so working on these exercises really helps me out.
see, as I listen to the spec now, I can really tell what the back syllable is compared to the front syllable, but as we speed it up, the back syllable sort of blends in a little bit more. Today was a big tempo day for me in terms of the core 17. I spent a lot of time chunking the etude and just getting good reps in at faster tempos. Today I didn't spend a whole lot of time playing, but instead I ran through all the stuff that I needed to just to make sure that I'm hitting my goals for the week. I'll talk about this a little bit later in the closing thoughts portion, but I didn't really have the greatest week ever. I wasn't 100% motivated to play the saxophone this week, but I guess that's kind of how it goes. My reads were definitely uh, killing me this week, uh, to say the least, or my one read, haha. <laughs> but hopefully as I break these new cane reads in, it gets a little bit better. So yeah, here we are, done with another week, done with week two. I can't say it was quite as enjoyable as the first week, but that's kind of how saxophone goes. 
it's got its ups and downs. We stayed consistent with the practice. I think this week I had a little bit less practice time overall each day, but we still got through everything and we met our goals. I'm able to double tongue at about 80. It's not the cleanest as you can hear, but I'm happy to see that it's gotten better. Um, in terms of etudes, um, we finished LaCour 17, which wasn't the most fun thing in the world, but it also wasn't that hard. So um, on to the next one next week. And then for the Overture to Candide excerpt, it was good. I enjoyed it a little bit. I, it forces me to be a little bit more zingy than I'd like to, which ugh, it's whatever. Into Tableau, we made it through movement two and three this week. Three was not quite up to tempo, but I'd say it was pretty good. We got the general idea of how that movement goes. Next week, I'll move on to four and five, probably. I, I kind of want to work on some Joel Love Liberation, but we'll see. I, I need to finish out what I've got so far. I'll think it over tonight and tomorrow, and we'll see what I want to do. I, I, I think this week I struggled a little bit just because I didn't really enjoy the material that I was working on. So maybe giving me the incentive of playing some Joel Love um, might make me enjoy my practice a little bit more, but we'll see. I'm going to continue to break in some of these cane reads, and hopefully my read situation clears up. Um, this Legere that I've been playing on is not great, and so I'm hoping that these cane reads really, really come in and, and pull through for me. I hope you enjoyed this video because I enjoyed making it. Please drop a like and subscribe down below. I will see you next week for week number three. Peace.